Hello, uh, it is me, the man whose dog is about to be loud. Um, I have no life, so I spent all of last night building a Vimana. Now, if you don't know what a Vimana is, they're an ancient mythical Hindu thing that, like, certain kings or gods or spirits would have, where it's basically a floating palace or a floating city or whatever. You know, pretty cool, pretty basic shit. But, uh, you know, weirdo people who believe in Atlantis, they believe in some wacky stuff. As you're going to be able to half see uh, on this shitty uh, video while my dog yells. Oh shit, I'm just trying to... I, I can't have the thing plugged in, I can't even... Uh, yeah. Also, it's, uh, there's... The audio is desynced. I think the powers that I need to get that checked out. It doesn't matter how I was appearing in yeah. Sumerian and Egyptian texts because I couldn't find a reference to them anywhere. This is a technological flying vehicle similar to modern day but with more advanced powers. If anything, it looks like a UFO to me. And definitely not a modern painting. What we see is the bell-shaped structure propelled by Mercury. You can learn a lot. Now that's all I'm going to show you about that lady's wacky-ass video. Because there is a real Vimana powered by a Mercury Vortex engine that I've created um, for, from garbage. And here it is. And it's not painted. So this is literally just I built this. I haven't even sprayed it yet. Uh, so obviously you can't see it. This is a really good video. Go. So basically the idea of a Vimana to me visually is... Uh, you know, at least the, the standard looking ones is it's kind of like a, almost like a stepped pyramid, but like circular. And uh, it's like a little, a little Magitek, a little sci-fi. As you can see, this is made out of different pieces of cloth and uh, Lego pieces and pill bottles and uh, parts of a Pepsi uh, box and uh, wooden garbage. And the funniest part is the top. Now, the top is definitely not final. It is covered because I'm going to paint that separately. But, uh, you know, I guess I can actually... Well, no, I actually did tape it on. So, basically, you kind of can't see it. But it's obvious that the, uh, the top is like a spray can bottle. But uh, once the it's painted up, it'll look more like it's this swirling, because I actually did research on the same conspiracy bullshit that she was talking about, oh, a Mercury engine for a Vimana. I, I, I've read some of the sources on that. Obviously, it's fake. Uh, there were not actually flying machines in ancient India. But there were in my fantasy game, and uh, this is one of them. Now, the idea behind this build, once I had finished completing it, was... Okay, it sort of looks like a Vimana, or at least it will once it's painted up, but it's sufficiently junky that, for one, I needed to add a bunch of rust, which I just lazily did by uh, super glue and uh, baking soda. So it's rusty as hell, and then also uh, uh, the idea is that basically in my D&D setting, there are multiple cycles of historical civilizations being repeated with varying levels of weirdness, right? There might be, like, around 28,000 BCE, a relatively normal um, Empire of Mali, you know, clone, right? Maybe they call themselves Mali, maybe they call themselves um, Winderblurgen, you know, maybe they call themselves Glundergar, you know, something that does not sound Manda at all, but whatever. Um, they're basically the Mali Empire. And then there is stuff where it's like, you know, all around 17,000 BC, uh, and these are just examples I'm pulling out of my ass, uh, Mali was founded by Black Atlanteans, and they had laser guns and pew-pew fire gun rangers, spacemen, and, uh, they, they played Atari games on their pit boys. You know, it's like, there's, there's, basically... This Vimana is scrounged together from the wrecks of multiple different eras of civilization of prehistoric fantasy Indians where they built Vimanas. Now, um, if you can kind of tell, 
There's uh, fans. That's what these were supposed to be. Um, getting them to be solidly on there was kind of hard, but uh, luckily I was able to glue them on pretty decently. Um, they're not very even. I'll put it down right. They're not very even. You can see the two on the back are uh, more even, and then the ones on the sides are a bit uh, weird. Now I probably should put a door in the front. Right, if it's supposed to be a Vimana, if it's supposed to be a flying uh, ship. And keep in mind, because this is a shitty Vimana that I, I tested with, like, uh, some mini I had. Like, uh, I think it was, it wasn't this guy, but, you know. And I googled, how much, how much is a story? And it's like about 14 feet. So I'm like, okay, so about two people. So, you know, if you, this is about a two-story Vimana. And again, it's kind of, like, scrounged to, together from uh, the ruins of multiple, you know, whoever made this was kind of a genius for being able to, to kind of make this, not like I am for making it, I'm not. There's way, someone could make a way better Vimana. But like the in-universe person who dug through all the ruins of uh, India and the surrounding areas and found all the spaceships and turned them into like this thing, you know, once it'll be painted up, I mean, it's very hard to tell that it's anything at all. But, um, now one thing that I like is, uh, I used all sorts of random bullshit for this. You know, these, these tube things here are actually, um, <clears throat> they are, uh, from, uh, what do you call it? Uh, fucking... They're from, uh, hand soap dispenser things or whatever. So they all came from that. They're all the same height. You know, it's obviously, it's got, uh, you know, the, the, the craft wood stuff. You can kind of see, I, I found this piece somewhere. It, I very well might have found this bit that's going to be on the top of the uh, Mercury Vortex engine. I'm pretty sure I found it out in the ground. Found it in the ground. Uh, and then underneath got kind of the base of this guy that I've used uh, to kind of put it all on top of. And uh, underneath is a DVD. It's a secret DVD. You'll never know what DVD it is. Don't worry, it's not porn. Uh, that would be weird. But, um, you know, you can just go on the internet. But uh, it is actually... Um, it is supposed to... Once, once I've got this painted up, this will definitely be some kind of glowing thing, right? This will have, like, energy to it. Where, you know, maybe the Mercury Vortex engine is, like, heating up these these rocks and that, like, heats this part. I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's very, I'm not thinking very engineeringly on it. I just think it's fun. I also, you can't really tell, but I cut, cut um, lines into the craft wood to make it look more like wooden planks and less like uh, craft sticks. Of course, they've still got these little rounded bits, so they do look like craft sticks, so I didn't bother doing that because I was uh, in the middle of the night and it was high, but, uh, well, I was high. But, um, you know, pretty fun, pretty fun. I just wanted to show you this. Um, I still haven't sprayed the last minis I showed off, and uh, this guy I can't spray yet, but hopefully the weather will look up soon and hopefully Monday I will be able to get a fix for the video on everything on my laptop being delayed because that is a problem. Okay. Good.